What is up you guys, Matt here, and today we are back with another episode not on the splash pad series. We're, today we're doing a pool liner, so we're gonna be putting in the pool liner finally after doing all the other concreting, so. And just like everything, it never goes completely swell. So, a few things that need to get done before we can even start doing that, but they're starting the foaming along the side so what's the foam for? Is it for, so when you put it in there, it doesn't scratch? It gives it a little cushion and, uh, and then separates it from the wall because sometimes the walls will begin to rust and that way it doesn't transfer through to the liner. Oh, so it actually stays in there the whole time? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So the fun stuff is getting done now. So theoretically, we should get this done before it gets 90 degrees out. That's why we started earlier, but, or started now, it's, I think it's eight, or it's nine now. It was supposed to start at six, but we're never on time, so let's see how it goes. So first step is almost done. Just got the foam along all the sides. Right now he's just kind of cutting off the excess along the, like the flat part where it kind of sits. He doesn't really care too much along those walls because it automatic, it just slants regardless. So the next part after this is we're gonna kind of go through and basically just kind of vacuum out any debris that's on the bottom that's like rocks or pebbles or basically anything that could possibly puncture the liner with all the water in it. And after that, then I'm not too sure what the next move. So I'm kind of going along with this and figuring it out. So I guess we'll find out. While my dad was vacuuming, we pulled out the liner box, which is right over there. You gotta have it set at one end of the pool, which we're not sure if it's supposed to be at that end or this one. We're pretty sure it's supposed to be at that end because how they have it set up is on the box. It's marked to which way it gets pulled out so as you pull it out it basically sets in perfect and then from there you can basically line it right up but once my dad gets on vacuuming we'll figure out which side that goes in and then hopefully it goes all smooth so it just quickly gets kind of set in there and gets into place and start kind of filling water up and touching it up as we go but it's a journey won't be easy but and now it's starting to really get hot out because the sun's out it's not fun but since we have the splash pad here some of the water is kind of draining into the drain which obviously the drain leads back into the pool so it's going all right just nice and warm out so once he's done vacuuming, I'll come back in and we'll figure out what to do with the liner. So right now we're uh, trying to put the new gasket around the drain, but my dad never cleared the drain or the old gasket before now. So that is what we're doing just for context. So it's going, it's very windy, so if you can hear me, my bad, but, or if you can't hear me, my bad. But it's going good, we got the liner into place now. For the most part, we're kind of just letting it kind of sit there because there's a few spots that need to get cut around, which is 
by the steps obviously the drain in the bottom there's the um not that side this side there's the inlets for where the water will drain from the splash pad back into the pool but we also got to kind of get that all taped off because we're gonna have to vacuum seal it to basically make it airtight and then it will kind of give more room to kind of work with and i know it's kind of hard to see me but it's very bright out right now and hot and windy but so far it's going pretty good we got it into the track and everything it's just mainly just trying to fight against the sun because the sun doesn't help with it just kind of beating on the liner when you're trying to get it in because it makes it kind of more tight and it kind of shrinks it down a little bit but it's going pretty good what they're doing right now is they're kind of just taping off all the spots where they need to cut off because they have to cut around all the parts that need to get cut around and then do it good enough to where the gaskets can sit up tight against it and then we'll vacuum seal it and so on and so forth but it's going good i guess you'll find out in the next part so what they're working on now is they're basically just trying to block off any airways because we're at the part where we're kind of filling up with water a little bit to kind of get it or get rid of some of the creases in the pool like the ones that just kind of need more pressure against the walls it's in there right now i was going to walk around but it's hot for one and for two the vacuums are still going to kind of keep a or keep it airtight as the water fills up so we're letting the water fill up just a little bit to kind of get that going um, and it's still very windy and hot it's not fun but it's going good we still got to cut around the steps and everything um, still needs to cut around some of the drainage for the splash pad so the water can flow back into the pool um, we cut the drain out at the way bottom of the pool so that's cut out already that's why we're filling it up um, but it's going good it looks good I I'm gonna I'll jump back in once the water fills up a little bit more or if we start working on the stairs I mean quick look is it's looking good it is but today's definitely not a good day to do this because it's just so hot and it drains you it does but hope you guys are enjoying these videos i mean there it's nice for me to do because i don't mind because as i'm doing these i'm also learning so and i'm just kind of filming like vlogging in a way but if you guys also get something out of this it's also a plus so i'll be back once we get going a little bit more but see you guys in a second